What's in a name? Well, I want to tell you, the name, your name, is the sweetest thing to your ears. You can talk BP where well all you want to. It ain't sweet to your ears at all. But the sweetest thing to your name is Lee. It ought to be. If you're not proud of your name, if that isn't sweet, then there's something wrong with you. Because if you in your own mind are not sweet upon yourself and amount to anything, you can't expect anybody else to be sweet on you and think you amount to anything. So you need that recognition. I wrote an, a letter of apology to one of our way grads this week because my financial department had had two or three letters asking them to change it. They never changed it and sent the wrong thank you, sent a thank you to the wrong people for the one who was given the money. Same general family name, but entirely different address. And I'm thinking, I don't blame her for getting upset. If I was supporting the Way International and sent three checks up here and they always sent it back to my dad and thanked him for my giving it, I'd finally say, what's the use? Send it up there. They can't keep any records. If they can't keep any records, they can't do any good in God's word either. I'd most likely quit after the second check. But praise God, we got a lot of people put up with our shortcomings up here and we got them by the barrel, folks. <laughs> the shortcomings. Uh, but they love us in spite of who we are and praise God for it because we do try to do a good job. We don't always do it, but we try to. But I thought of this. There's that person. All she wanted was the recognition she'd sent it. She's entitled to it. It's the same principle I teach in the foundational class. If you can stand outside of this building and jump over the top of it, you're not bragging. Right. But if you stand outside of this building and tell me you can jump off the top of it, you can't get two inches off the ground when you jump. Man, you're blowing it. You're lying like a trooper. That's right. Recognition. You're entitled to it. You need it. It's part of life like self-preservation. It makes you as a man a real man, as a woman a real woman. God built you that way. But it's not the type of recognition that you have to buy with power or money, which is simply a shadow. You've got to have something deeper than that, and the depth of that is in his word. It is written, the word of God. That's the great one. Verse 9 says, And he saith unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and do what? Worship me. That is the, the par excellence, the magna cum laude, the summa bonum, or whatever that stupid stuff all is, of the whole thing in power. Money buys power. Power is what they're after. That people will do what? Worship. Salam. You know. Ah. There is no man in the world that's worth worshiping. You women remember that. <laughs> Perfection's in the Lord. <laughs> Dear beauty. <laughs> Only one to be worshiped, and that's God. And he is to be worshiped in spirit and in truth truthfully, by way of the Spirit. It's the only way you can worship. But you see, it's carried over even into jurisprudence, I think. <laughs> in England, your worship. The attorney, the judge walks in, your worship. I don't know if we still carry it in America or not. Perhaps in some areas we do. You see what it's after? Because when you've reached that plateau or stage in life where you've reached that height, then your worship. It's power, power, power that they're after. And that's exactly what the devil was after in the Lord Jesus Christ. He said, if you uh, all these kingdoms and all the glory of them and all the power I'll give to you if you do one thing, worship me. 
So what are we going to worship? If you're big enough and you want to worship at those places, you can buy a lot of things. But what's it worth? Because class, life, even if you live to be 80, or if you lived as old as Methuselah, which any, none of you are going to make, it'd still be short. But if you do not believe that there's anything after this life, that there is no justice, no nothing coming after this life, then, of course, you have sobbed your, S-A-L-B, your conscience to the end where there's nothing there. So what difference does it make? then you can even afford to sacrifice your own child upon the altar of power or power. You can afford to have them die in war. So there's nothing anyway. As long as I can get what I want now. And that is people to worship me. The blue ledger. Bloodline. Right people invited to parties. It's as old as the word. If you just bow down and do one thing, worship. In Luke, the 22nd chapter class, verse 3 says, Satan entered into whom? Judas, surnamed Iscariot, being of the number of the twelve. And he went his way and communed with the chief priests and captains how he might betray him, that is, Jesus, unto them. And they were tickled to death. They were what? Glad. They were glad. And they covenanted. They agreed with him, covenanted him. They agreed with him. They made a deal to give him what? Tickle to death to get, give him money as long as he would deliver the Lord Jesus Christ to him. You see the form of worship? You know, the, he would be old salam to me. I'll pay you for it. All you have to do is turn him in. This devilish thing of immunity, you know, or somebody gives. I don't understand it all, but you know, crooked in a dog's hind leg, but then if I'll tell everything, I get immunity. I don't get sent to jail. You go. Bunch of craziness. I guess if the word's right, but we're so screwed up in this country, we need a day of prayer, maybe two days. <laughs> Something haywire someplace, and it can't be in God or his word. Look at old Judas Iscariot. Huh. You know what verse 6 says? And he promised, you always promise. You will never get it from them unless you make a what? They'll exact twice of your blood, I guarantee. And then he sought opportunity to betray him unto them in the absence of the what? Be a real smart cookie. And if you remember the rest of the story, when they finally paid him off, felt sort of badly about it. He went back to the hierarchy and he says, fellas, I'd sure like to return this money. After all, I got it from Bebo in the wrong way and all the rest of the stuff. Uh, I, I really shouldn't have taken it. And he tried to return it to the chief priest, remember? And they said, we haven't got anything to do with it. It's blood money. Well, what was it when they gave it to him? Ice cream. <laughs> it, it apparently just got contaminated because he touched it or something. Look at the couple. You see, once they had used his life, Judas's, they no longer cared. The only people who care are those who have renewed their minds and loved the Lord Jesus Christ and put God in their life. The only one. Why we sang tonight, he cares. For me. I had to rely upon people through these 31 years of research and teaching for their caring for my life. I'd have quit 
32 years ago. Horrible. Right, but you see, I know God cares. And the biggest thing in my life is to be sure that I stand approved before him and walk honestly in the sight of all men, as the word says. 